Vic McCartney from uh, Ames Media. Ames Media? Yes. Uh, audience measurement. Yes. What's, what's the story? We're uh, new to the market. We've been in Australia for a year and a half. We're promoting, the, we have a license to sell Quivity's audience measurement solution in Australia. We measure digital signage networks, uh, products on shelves, uh, static mannequins. We measure media, we measure anything in real time. We have a technology that can, we're using an autonomous, autonomous video camera. We measure demographics of your target audience. Mm-hmm. We can measure individuals on how, how long, how much traffic you have in front of your screens or your brands or your products on shelves or your mannequins and shop front windows. How long, how long they dwell in front of your, your targeted measured, audio, uh, measured product, whatever you're measuring, whether your digital screens. Uh, your, their dwell time, their attention time, so how long they actually look at your product or look at your screens. Uh, the gender, the demographics of your target audience, so whether they're a male or a female, mm-hmm. what age groups, we generally have four age groups as well. Okay. So and we have young, young, we have children, young, young adults, adults, and seniors. So all this data is collected in real time and actually boosted back to our back office in uh, once an hour, reports back to our mm-hmm. back office, uh, video reports. Now, in video reports, we have a dashboard. We give our customers a standard 16 dashboard where you can compare data. But using the elements that we've given you, the, the dwell time, the attention time, traffic in front of your screens, conversion ratios, all that data, you can cross-reference it with uh, any type of data that you want getting from there. So if you want to cross-reference time of day with demographics of people watching your screens, if you want real impressions, uh, their dwell time, maybe the content on your screens or the product that is not appealing to your clients, for that matter. Can that information then trigger uh, the content? Yes, it can. That's what we're working on right now, triggered advertising as well. Yep. So we're, we're working with a company called Ryark Streaming Media. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're doing some work with Scala right now in regards to doing triggered advertising. So our, our target audience is measured at 0.3 of a second, and that 0.3 of a second gives time to play the content you want on your screens in relation to what your target audience is. Mm-hmm. Okay. So... Um, in the uh, in the local market here, what, what's, uh, where are you guys up to? Uh, right now, we're in the process of deploying one of the largest networks in Australia. It's a taxi network. We're putting digital screens in taxis all over Australia. Okay. Uh, we're working on that project right now. We're just waiting for the final sign-offs on that. That's going to be all first two. We're rolling out 250 caps over the next six to 12 months, uh, three, three to six months, and they're all going to be equipped with audience measurement. Okay. And uh, this uh, this network is is obviously uh, wireless of some description. Yes, they're all going to be ha- they're going to have 3G cards in them. Okay. They're all going to be 3G cards. They're going to be going in and out of coverage areas as well. Mm-hmm. So they're going to be remotely being accessed. Data is going to be pushed every once an hour. Content is going to be played. We're building a great interface, Taxi TV. We're working with a company called Be Digital. Mm-hmm. Doing, doing that. Uh, and and in in the cabs themselves, we're 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 what's the configuration for the screens? The screens would be in the middle console. Okay. The middle console in between the two seats, facing yeah. for the desk in the back. Basically, it'll be an interface where tra- passengers can actually interface, look at what, how long the distance will be from the trip will be from point A to point B. Uh, entertainment news, breaking news, sports news, mm-hmm. stock market news, uh, venues, what venues they can visit. We're looking at potentially looking at cab charge as well, mm-hmm. so being able to bring your cards in right at the back. Okay. Having speakers so customers have the option of sound or no sound. Mm-hmm. It's a very robust machine that is going to be hopefully that will improve. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> Vom- vomit proof? Vomit proof. It's, it's a capacitive, a capacitive screen, mm-hmm. so someone can actually spill anything on it and just wipe it right off. Right. Well, right. Touch screen, you don't have to actually touch the screen to interact with it. It can be four millimeters away and still show that. Okay. When, when can we expect to see those? Hopefully in the next three to six months. Yeah. Uh, we're very close to signing our deal. We're just waiting for one uh, political uh, legislation that's uh, happening that's pr- preventing us from in-store cab advertising. Mm-hmm. We're just trying to get around that. Right now, that's the only problem. The investors are on board. The solution is there. The prototype is made. We're at that, just at that process to get going. Okay. And if uh, people want to contact you, how should they do that? The best way to contact me is through my website or my email address. The website is www.aimsmedia.com.au. Mm-hmm. And my email address is tafik, T-A-U-F-I-K, at aimsmedia.com. AIMS media.com.au. Fantastic.